What we did is we put two capuchin monkeys side by side, and if you give both of them cucumber for the task, the two monkeys side by side, they're perfectly willing to do this 25 times in a row. If you give them grapes, it's a far better food uh, than you create inequity between them. She gives a rock to us, that's the task, and we give her a piece of cucumber and she eats it. The other one needs to give a rock to us, that's what she does, and she gets a grape, and she eats it. The other one sees that, she gives a rock to us now, gets again cucumber. She tests the rock now against the wall. She needs to give it to us. And she gets cucumber again. <laughs> Let me tell you a funny story about this. this. This study became very famous, and we got a lot of comments, especially anthropologists, economists, uh, philosophers. They didn't like this at all because they had decided in their mind fairness is a very complex issue and that animals cannot have it. And so one philosopher even wrote us that it was impossible that monkeys had a sense of fairness because fairness was invented during the French Revolution. <laughs> and another one wrote a whole chapter saying that uh, he would believe it had something to do with fairness if the one who got grapes would refuse the grapes. Now the funny thing is that Sarah Brosnan, who's been doing this with chimpanzees, had a, a couple of combinations of chimpanzees where indeed the one who would get the grape would refuse the grape until the other guy also got a grape. Getting very close to the human sense of fairness, and I think philosophers need to rethink their philosophy for a while. But let me summarize. I believe there's an evolved morality. I think morality is much more than what I've been talking about, but it would be impossible without these ingredients that we find in other primates, which are empathy and consolation, uh, pro-social tendencies, and reciprocity and a sense of fairness. And so we work on these particular issues to see if we can create a morality from the bottom up, so to speak, without necessarily God and religion involved, uh, and to see how we can get to an evolved morality.